we got this tulip tree here. It's not huge, but it's big enough, and it's got some storm damage. That tree by the stump grinder there just fell over and did a bunch of damage on these limbs here. Now, here's an example of a, of a tree that got, a limb that got broken. It snapped off there, and it's going back to there, what, another three feet maybe and change past where the last bit of that rip bark is. Where are you going to cut that? It's a small, small cut, you know? It's definitely under four inches. You can take that back at the trunk, but why would you when you have another option here? And you can see I already started the cut right here. And I, I'm going to finish it for you by hand. So look at this. All right, that's going to be the final cut right there. And why are we doing that? Number one, because we're going to allow that tree to make up its own mind what it wants to do with that branch. But importantly here, we're in the middle of the summer, summer here, and that's, that's, su that's sunshine. It's shining hard right down on this side of the trunk, which has been used to being fully shaded by all these branches here. Now that will give a, a little bit of a platform for the um, new growth, which has already started here, you know, to pop out. It will give a little bit of a platform for that new growth to carry on and, and give the trunk of this tree some shade in the middle of this hot summer sun. So that's the thinking. You can go either way with it. The tree's gonna be better off like this, almost for sure. Your thoughts are appreciated. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.